The Tony Award winning Dallas Theater Center decided to go as big as a bouffant hairdo with its new uh, production, Hairspray. I made this myself. Can't stop my happiness because I like the way I am. For the first time, they have partnered to produce a show with AT&T Performing Arts Center as part of its Broadway series, and they're doing it with the crowd-pleasing musical Hairspray about a 1960s teenager in Baltimore with dreams of dancing on the Corny Collins show. Stealing the show every night is the teen's mother, Edna, and we welcome David Coffey, who plays her. And David, for those who are not familiar, this is a role that has traditionally been played by a man. Yes, it was originally in the film, John Waters' film, 1988 film. It was the, uh, the drag performer Divine that played it. And then it was developed into a musical. They approached Harvey Firestein, and he, of course, punched it up a little bit himself, too. So it's always been traditionally played by a man. And you have played this role before, and it never gets any easier to fit into the shoes. No, it doesn't. The <laughs> shoes get even harder every year. I said, this may be my last go around to do hairspray. <laughs> it really is tough. This guy spends an hour getting ready every night just with the costume and the wigs and all of that. Uh, curious, though, for people who haven't seen the show, what do you think is endearing about Edna? The thing that's so wonderful about Edna is she is she's kind of down. She's a little down. She's tr the one that keeps her family together. But this is a family that has stayed together. Mm -hmm. Someone was making the point the other day that you have the other people on stage that you're dealing with, other families are kind of disjointed. They don't have fathers even in the families. They're broken families. Ours, even though it's a crazy group, mm -hmm. we are the family that stays together and supports each other and gets through their troubles and come out happy on the end. So it's, it's always nice thing. when you have that happy ending. You know, it's interesting because the, this is a, a lot of fun, but there are those messages that are in there. There are some wonderfully subversive messages in this show, and <laughs> that's one of the things that makes it so exciting to do. And I love this partnership here, too. Uh, the Dallas Theater Center, you know, audiences uh, might think that uh, this would be a local cast. Not necessarily the case, though. We have a the vast majority of them are local, I must say. We have uh, about maybe not even a third that have been brought in from uh, New York. But uh, everybody, this is our first kind of stock production for the Theater Center to do. So they wanted to get as many people like us that have done it before to make it easier to get it put together. But it's a tremendous company and a young company. That's a neat thing, too, is you get to see kids on the Corny Collins Show that are actually about the age they should be to be on the Corny Collins Show. It's not like you see a production of Grease with 40-year-old people <laughs> They've been held back for a long Just time. Just trying to still keep it exactly. going. Exactly. What is it like to be up there on the Winspear Opera House stage? Because that in itself uh, makes this different. It does. It's it's lovely. You, it's uh, I played bass hall before, and then this is my first time at the Windspear. But any theater like this, where you have the audience just stacked up in front of you, is just a beautiful thing. I said it's a better view from the stage than it is from the audience, actually. <laughs> but it's wonderful. And the sound, uh, we were just talking about, the reaction is immediate to us. I was afraid there would be a delay or anything like that, but it's immediate. And the action has been not only immediate, but very strong. Mm -hmm. They've been just amazing, the audiences. Uh, well, it, uh, we, it's been getting rave reviews and uh, go see this guy and uh, see if you can spot him. He we will only be got Edna. a week. You better get there. We close Sunday, so you get there. We have more. We have a morning show tomorrow. We have two shows on Wednesday and Thursday. Let's see here. No, Wednesday and Thursday. And then Saturday, too, we have two shows. There's so. all the info right there, in fact. And if you'd like to look for tickets, again, it only goes through Sunday. You have limited time here. ATTPAC.org or DallasTheaterCenter.org. Uh, that's where you'll find your tickets. Help us fill it up. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Get out there and break a leg. <laughs> but don't really. I know those shoes are killing you. <laughs>